Hello friends, myself Aradi Mahajan, Assistant Professor, MIT, Aurumbar, presenting my next video on Fourier, inverse Fourier sign transform. Uh, let us see the first example using inverse Fourier sign transform, find f of x if Fourier sign transform that is fs lambda is equals to 1 by lambda into e raised to minus a lambda. Uh, this is given and using this we are required to find uh, this f of x using inverse Fourier sign transform technique. Therefore solution uh, here given f s lambda that is Fourier sign transform is equals to 1 by lambda e raised to minus a lambda given then using inverse Fourier sign transform formula or result we have f of x is equals to uh, root 2 by pi integral from 0 to infinity f s lambda sin lambda x d lambda then substituting the value of f of f s lambda in this result we have root 2 by pi integration from 0 to infinity f s lambda that value is 1 by lambda e raised to minus a lambda into sin of lambda x d lambda. We call this as equation 1. Let uh, this integral we call as i of x i of x as integration from 0 to infinity of 1 by lambda e raised to minus a lambda into sine of lambda x d lambda. We call this as equation 2. Here uh, it is containing three terms of lambda and that's why that integration is not possible. Differentiating equation 2 with respect to x we get uh, derivative of this with respect to x is di by dx uh, on right hand side there are two variables lambda and x and as it is function of two independent variables the derivative must be partial derivative therefore dou by dou x of integration from 0 to infinity of 1 by lambda e raised to minus a lambda sine of lambda x d lambda. Then uh, here we use that uh, differentiation under integral sign theorem using DUIS uh, long form is differentiation under integral sign theorem. Uh, by this theorem, we can change the order of this operator. Uh, this we can take inside and this as outside, and therefore it is equals to that di by dx is equals to. Uh, integration from 0 to infinity of dou by dou x of 1 by lambda e raised to minus a lambda sine of lambda x d lambda and therefore it is equals to uh, when we are differentiating with respect to x, these terms of lambda are constant term, uh, taking outside and therefore integration from 0 to infinity 1 by lambda 
e raised to minus a lambda taking outside the this operator of derivative and then uh, differentiating the remaining terms with respect to x it is dou by dou x of sin lambda x and then its integration with respect to lambda and therefore uh, we get this is equals to integration from 0 to infinity 1 by lambda e raised to minus a lambda uh, derivative of sin is cos of lambda x uh, applying chain rule differentiation of the term lambda x with respect to x is lambda and then its integration with respect to lambda. Uh, this lambda lambda get cancelled and therefore we have it is integration from 0 to infinity. Uh, remaining terms are e raised to minus a lambda into cos of lambda x d lambda. Uh, this is converted to standard uh, result of integration e raised to x cos of bx dx applying that standard uh, this is the value of uh, di by dx and therefore uh, calculating that value of integral di by dx is equals to integration from 0 to infinity e raised to minus a lambda cos of lambda x d lambda. Uh, using this standard result of integration. We know that uh, integration of e raised to a x cos of bx and its integration with respect to x is e raised to x divided by a square plus b square multiplied by a cos bx plus b sin of bx uh, applying this result therefore comparing these two result we get uh, x as u uh, sorry, x as a lambda coefficient of x in this term of e raised to x is a therefore that a coefficient of lambda in this term as minus a cos of bx coefficient of x is b therefore coefficient of x sorry coefficient of lambda in this term of mm, is x and therefore Substituting these values in this result, we get the value of that di by dx as e raised to x term. That term is here e raised to minus a lambda divided by a square plus b square minus a bracket square. We get that as a square. b square means x square multiplied by a cos bx. a is here minus a cos of bx means cos of lambda x plus b b is x into sine of lambda sine of bx sine of lambda x uh, bracket close outer bracket close and limits from 0 to infinity and then shifting the upper and lower limit for upper limit it becomes e raised to minus infinity as 0 and for lower limit it becomes e raised to 0 as 1 and therefore we get uh, for that e raised to minus infinity it is 0 into this term we get 0 minus lower limit e raised to 0 as 1 divided by 
ए स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर मल्टीप्लाइड बाय कॉस जीरो इज वन द फोर इट इज माइनस ए इंटू वन मीन्स माइनस ए साइन जीरो इज जीरो द फोर जीरो एंड द फोर वी गेट दिट वैल्यू एज माइनस माइनस इज बिकम प्लस ए डिवाइडेड बाय ए स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर दैट इज वैल्यू ऑफ डी आई बाय डी एक्स ओके देन इंटीग्रेटिंग दिस विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स इंटीग्रेटिंग विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स वे गेट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ डी आई बाय डी एक्स इज आई of x as integration of a divided by a square plus x square and its integration with respect to x and that is equals to a constant outside uh, integration of 1 upon a square plus x square is tan inverse of x by e divided by e plus constant of integration e okay uh, so that this a get cancelled and we get that value as uh, we get uh, that integral i of x is equals to uh, tan inverse of x by e plus constant of integration e uh, we call this as equation number 3 and then uh, to find this constant of integration put x is equals to 0 in 3 we get uh i of 0 as tan inverse of 0 plus e uh but the value of tan inverse of 0 0 plus e is equals to i of 0 and therefore we get e is equals to i of 0 uh we call this as equation fourth okay then uh try to get a value of i of 0 by putting x is equals to 0 in equation 2 put x is equals to 0 in equation 2 we get i of x x is 0 means i of 0 is equals to when we put x is equals to 0 this term becomes 0 As sine zero is zero, therefore it is zero, and its integration with respect to lambda. As term is zero, its value is zero. Means we get i of zero is equals to zero. Substituting that in equation four, we get a is equals to i of zero, and the value of i of zero is zero. uh substituting that value uh in equation 3 hmm. therefore equation 3 becomes therefore uh it is r of x as tan inverse of x by e plus e that value of a zero and therefore we get i of x as tan inverse of x by e substituting this value here in equation 1 and therefore put it in equation One, one becomes 
that f of x is equals to root 2 by pi into integration from 0 to infinity of i of i lambda i divided by lambda e raised to minus e lambda sin lambda x that term we are calling as i of x and the value of that i of x as tan inverse of x by e is the uh, required fx. Okay. Therefore, once again I will repeat the important steps. Uh, here given is Fourier sine transform result. We require to find Fourier inverse sine inverse Fourier sine transform that is f of x. Therefore, substituting that value uh, as it contains three terms of la lambda integration is not possible. Therefore, what we do we differentiate this uh, this integral we are calling as i of x. Then differentiating that with respect to x, we get di by dx and then uh, applying that important theorem differentiation under integral sign by which we can interchange at two operators, operator of derivative and operator of integration, thereby uh, getting the value of i of x, uh, which is containing that constant of integration e and to find this e we put x is equals to 0 in this equation. We get i of 0 as tan inverse of 0. That value is 0. 0 plus a. We get a as i of 0. And to find this value of i of 0, we put x is equals to 0 in this step number or equation number 2. We get left hand side as i of 0. Right hand side is sin 0, 0. Therefore, this term becomes 0. Therefore, it is integration from 0 to infinity. And as that term is 0, value is 0. Therefore, we get A is equals to 0. Substituting that value once again, uh, here in this equation 3, we get I of x is equals to tan inverse of x by A plus 0. Means that value is tan inverse of x by A. And using this value here in equation 1, finally we get the required f of x as root 2 by pi as it is into value of that integral and that value of integral is tan inverse of x by a that is the required result. Like this we can obtain the solution for this problem. Therefore, if you are watching my videos, please like as well as share it. Similarly, uh, subscribe to my channel for latest updates. Thank you. Thank